Hello, yeah, wrong and just a very quick update. Alex Belfield. My sources are telling me that Alex has been moved from HMP Earlstoke to HMP Fossway. Now, if you don't know where HMP Fossway is, it's in Leicestershire, which makes much more sense. I mean, I, I know the area quite well. So Old B is just south of Leicester and Wigston know the area. It's not far from there because I used to live in, in Nottinghamshire and obviously on Century 106 broadcast to Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire and the whole of Leicestershire. So HMP Fossway, let me give you some background and then let you, I'll give you my takeaways from all of this with my specialist insight. So HMP Fossway, it's a Category C prison. I don't know where these people are getting this. Oh, he's got to go to a Category D, a Category D, a Category D. No. It depends on how much he plays ball with the system. The system is not an easy game to play, but the system is the system. And he is wrapped up in it. So I don't think he's going to get Cat D at the earliest next year, maybe a couple of months before he's released. But it, again, it just depends on how much he plays the system, as in he does what the system tells him. He's got to be a good boy. So this HMP Fossway is barely a year old. It's got a planned capacity of 1930 male inmates, prisoners. It costs 286 million to construct and it's operated by Serco on a 10 year contract, which has still got nine years effectively to go. It received its first prisoners in May 2023, which is 12 months ago. Uh, it's just down the road um, from where his family and parents are. Um, it's, I would say, easily within an hour, easily within an hour from Mansfield. It's just straight down the M1, pop off the M1 in, into near Oadby and Wigston and you're there. Um HMP Fosway replaced HMP Glen Parva. Now, you may vaguely remember that. That was a young offenders institution and young and HMP Glen Parva was closed in 2017. And they took the, the, the next five years, five or six years to get it up and running, get it constructed. And uh, some of the measures they put in place is just extraordinary. It's one of the newest prisons, if not the newest prison in the UK. It's one of the most high-tech prisons in the world. Um, so, but 2024 for young Alex is three separate prisons. So we went to um, HMP Stocken originally, stayed there for about a year, 14 months, and then went HMP Five Wells, which was an upgrade for him, but then he was there for five or six months and then he moved HMP Earlstoke, which I personally saw as a punishment for whatever reason. But now that the final defamation case for the moment has been taken care of and Alex has paid substantial damages, about which I'll get to in a moment to give you my insight. Uh, I think they've looked at him and gone, OK, but this kind of move has to be and is a long time in the making. So whatever his legal team were passing on to maybe the psychiatrists or the mental health teams within uh, HMP Earlstoke or the governor themselves and within the system, they've just got him now to HMP Fossway. Now, it's an interesting prison. It's aimed at reducing reoffending. It's a specialist prison aimed at reducing reoffending. It's got about, give or take, 1,700 prisoners, so it's not at its max capacity yet. They target education and training and jobs for prisoners on release as its main purpose. So it looks like within 14 months, young Alex is going to be allowed out on licence. Or is he? All these people saying, oh, when he comes out, when he comes out, he's going to be doing this, when he's going to be doing that. You have no idea. I've already told you, he's a fantasist. So he's prone to making stuff up. But you don't know what the system is going to allow him to do. That's the main bugbear. That's what you have to look at. And there are a lot of people giving opinions that have no clue. Because it's down to the reports. It's down to the, the psych and the mental health teams. It's down to how he engages with the system. But the big indicator 
is that he's gone from Earlstoke to Fossway and Fossway is much better for him because his family are less than an hour away. Mansfield to Oadby or Wigston, oh, 50, 55 minutes within the speed limit, obviously. So Serco have working partnerships with local employers with the intention of opening opportunities for on-the-job training through release on temporary licence. It's designed to get those who have served their sentence straight into paid employment. Not showbiz, paid employment, whatever that may be. So maybe for a little while he has to play the game. He has to play the system. That's what I'm saying to you. He's not going to come out of prison and all of a sudden the next night he's going to be on stage, bad-mouthing everybody. It's all down to the conditions of his licence. And those conditions are going to be watertight. Because he's still got three years. And if he makes a mistake, and my betting, every chance. But again, it depends whether he's engaged with the system and the system believe him not to be a threat to either himself or anyone else. If the system and the reports say, no, he's a threat, he won't get released. So the, looking at the prison, HMP Fosway, it's got an airlock entrance, which is quite new, but it's, it's just standard operational for many buildings like this and other secure units uh, around the country. It has uh, an airlock entrance and egress system. So when you go in, you go one way. When you come out, you go the other way, but it's still the same security system. It's, as I say, one of the most high-tech prisons in the world. It has ID and biometric checks at the entrance and then you go through the airlock so that's just the first part and there are seven of them um there are about 1700 prisoners in the prison there are as many cameras within the prison 1700 cameras within hmp fosway there are seven security steps all high tech third stage biometric verification checks so you get the biometric check once and then you get the verification check uh, at level three. Level four, you're getting metal detectors. Level five, you're getting full body search because this is a prison. It's not a holiday park. It's a prison. So they have to be secure. Now, if you go into certain parts of the prison, as one door closes and locks, only then will the next door unlock and open. That's how high tech it is. That's how secure it is. Um, the next step, you've gone through all these checks, all these ID checks, the, the biometric tests, and then you have to press a button so that you can talk to the front desk and they go, oh, yeah, Adrian, it's you. Yeah, all right. Blimey. Face for radio. Then they let you in. There is something called a purple visit within HMP Fosway. It's where there is a booth um, that facilitate online visits. Now, remember, don't think that he's going to get a visit every day because he's only allowed one visit per fortnight, close family and friends. So that's two a month, every other week. And say this prison is so high tech, say um, I'm having I'm in one of these booths and I'm having an online visitation from my mum and dad. And someone else that hasn't been verified prior to the call, walks into the frame or just does the usual Zoom thing and, oh, sorry, I forgot, I forgot you were on Zoom. The call is shut down immediately. No ifs, ands, buts or maybes shut down because they're using AI now in prisons. How high tech is that? So offenders who they reckon maintain family ties are 39% less likely to reoffend. So if you wish, in my view, that's why Alex has been sent there. So he can re-engage with his mum, dad, brothers, sisters, aunts, nephews, everybody in Mansfield that are not too far away. The prison also has a virtual courtroom, a bit like when I went to uh, Nottingham uh, County Court, I think it was in, not the High Court. But the, we, we sat there with um, Nottinghamshire Police and... Uh, Alex was on a screen with his legal representation and they were they were kind of chatting and come to an agreement around costs for Nottinghamshire police. And remember that Alex, through his uh, legal representation, said he had no means of 
earning money once he left prison, which is why, possibly, he's gone to Fosway so that they can give him some training uh, at, at some kind of facility where he can start earning money immediately that he comes out of prison. Now, Fosway still uses dogs. There's nothing wrong with them. There's just different types. Now, it's a prison, obviously, with 1,700 chaps in there. They have four types. They have um, a passive drugs dog, which just kind of runs around and sniffs, 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 sniffs. And they also have an active drugs dog, which possibly goes and uh, does its job around the cells. Um, there's also an explosives dog. Interesting. And also an attack dog. Now, an attack dog does exactly what it says on the tin. It attacks. And more often than not, police, prisons, anybody else that uses dogs, if they unleash the dog, they have to count the puncture wounds afterwards and justify why they uh, let the dogs off the lead. And uh, an attack dog in prison? I could tell you some stories about uh, Ireland and prison dogs in the 70s and what the handlers had to did to make do to make sure that they stayed safe. The handlers and the dog. Now, a dog's nose is 25,000 times stronger than ours. One of them. We can barely um, smell our dinner sometimes, but a dog's nose is 25,000 times stronger than ours. Um, foam dogs, they've actually got those in many prisons around the UK. And what do they do? Um, well, they, those foam dogs are trained into finding phones. It does exactly what it says on the tin, but they also are trained to trace batteries and SIM cards. Because dogs can be trained to find literally anything. We've got something called a cadaver dog, which can smell dead people. They're amazing dogs, amazing. So the prisoners are expected to be, during the day, either working or in education. Every single one of them. They're either working or in education. So they're not allowed to kind of sit around and, and do whatever they want to do. They do have a phone in the cell. And even though they're expected to be working or in education during the day, um, if they're working, they are allowed so much money for the job that they do. And that money pays for the use of a phone in their cell. But the individual, the inmate, has to be risk assessed and the person calling has to be risk assessed before any calls can be made. But at least it's kind of semi-private, uh, but it's all checked. It's all monitored. Um, within HMP Fosway, there are opportunities for the prisoners, the inmates, to learn, grow, improve, keep in touch with their family, because it's very important for when they uh, come out of prison. Uh, as I say, as well as the telephone, there's a there's a. Uh, computer screen which is also attached to basic tv channels and they have access to certain bits of the internet like the open university can't use google or anything like that but they do have some kind of access to the internet but again within every cell shat well, well it, possibly within alex's cell um as a reward evidently shower toilet all this high-tech equipment even though it's a bit sort of Windows 95, high tech, and they get a button. Now the button is in every cell and via that button, they can speak with staff for medical emergencies and if someone is in crisis. So it's not kind of, um, you know, strange ways or any of the old Victorian prisons. This is a brand spanking new, really high tech prison. Uh, shower and toilet in most cells, single cells from what I can gather workshops where prisoners can skill up i mean there's one right down alex's street the uh the music workshop which would be i don't know uh, is it sort of the the apple music workshop whatever software they they use within those workshops but editing it's all down all dependent on software alex was was half decent at editing but hopefully he'll get in there uh barber workshop don't think that's applicable for alex and uh there's an uh optician trust where you can learn how to make glasses and stuff so they, they, they have opportunities for each inmate to better themselves they even have something called unify messenger so they can te send text back and forth but they are all monitored all of them now if you've got ai 
um, depending on what flavor of AI you've got. <clears throat> It'll just be monitoring everything. So if you send something that it goes, eh, eh, no, your name's not on the door, you can't come in, right? Then that'll be binned and nobody will have any idea that um, you've sent a text. Or the other way, you send a text in and the AI goes, what? No, don't be silly. But HMP Fosway is cleaner, nicer and more modern than the hole he was in at HMP Earlstuck. So I would suggest that this prison that he is in currently, and he, he went there on Thursday the 9th of May, so he's only been in a couple of days. He'll just be getting his bearings. It's better than Five Wells, better than Stockton, better than Earlstoke. But is he going to stay there? Depends on what the system decides. Here's an indicator. Because as agreed in the High Court just two weeks ago, via his legal representation, young Alex said that he would post his unreserved apology on X, YouTube and his website. And up until this video being broadcast, that's not being done. So the system may turn around and go, Alex, what are you doing? Metaphorically, of course. Uh, I'm just paraphrasing. Alex, what are you doing? You know, we said this, you said that, there was a, an agreement put in place between us. Do you want to go back to World Stoke? So as of this video, there's nothing on X, nothing on YouTube, nothing on his website. And it's two weeks later. And he's got people that are operating his website and can do all that for him. And it can go via his legal representation and the legal representation can pass it on to him. Mind you, this is lawyers, so it could take 20 years. I'll still charge you for it, though. So it could go to uh, the people, um, his greebles outside, that can just post it on, on his social um, footprint and platforms. Now, there have been substantial damages and costs agreed. And I know for fact that initially the suit was for £100,000 plus costs. Now, whether it's been paid as that, only the court will know. And the legal representatives... And Alex. Oh, and DC Percival, of course. But money talks. Maybe that's why he's been moved. Promises are broken. This agreement's been broken. You would have thought that on the day that the agreement was sort of published via the court, that it would have already been up there from first thing in the morning or the moment that the court was adjourned. Ping, goes live, finished, sorted, man of his word. Two weeks later... So I believe the move, the move to HMP Earlstoke was a punishment for whatever reason. I do believe this is a reward. That's how the system works. But it'll be interesting to see whether he's moved again because he upsets somebody. Because that's the kind of guy Alex is. He's always upsetting people. Thinks it's funny, but he's always upsetting people. Um, but I'll guarantee you that knowing Alex the way that I do, he's learned the lesson. He's learned this and he understands that if you're a good boy, you will be rewarded. So let's just see how the next few months go. It also gives me a, a clear insight that Alex is capable of adaptation. He's taken the, the, the he's he's taken the system, worked it out, understands it, and it's not difficult. Just be a good lad. Just do as you're told. Get your head down, backside up, and grind this time inside out. But I think. Being capable of adaptation will help him in, in this particular prison. Now, Percival got a genuinely substantial compensation. It's not for us to speculate. But it is for us to question the agreement made in the High Court that he would publish an unreserved apology on his social media footprint. And that hasn't happened. But this move to HMP Fosway works on so many psychological levels and for a positive for him because I do hope he comes out and recognises that life is different two and a half years down the line that he's still on licence for three years when he comes out and at any time he makes a mistake within that three years he goes straight back in and he does his three year sentence not well I've been out on licence for 12 months so I've only got two years to go it's like getting to within two or three weeks of the three years, and then all of a sudden you just go a bit mad and do something stupid. You've got to go in and serve your time. That's how it works. 
So I'm pleased that he's going to a good prison because I'm hoping this is going to be the making of him. Not to go on stage, not to play on the plinky plonky, not to make words up so that the greebles are all like, oh, Alex, you're my hero. Oh, the working man, the working class hero. He's done time inside. No. And the other thing is, all these people that are saying, oh, rapists get less. Look, if Alex had done one thing, and it was count five, I think it was, of the Stalking and Harassment Act 1997, he would have been out in 15 months. You can't say a rapist get less than that. But because he did four guilty counts, it's all been added up consecutively, not concurrently. And there's the most important. So anybody saying, oh, rapists get less, they might have their sentence concurrent. But Alex, in the defamation case with Jeremy Vine, the judge was frustrated initially that Alex wasn't setting out his argument. There's loads of reportage and lots of court documents pointing that out. So maybe Alex is, is in the brown stuff because he just didn't play the game with the system. Now he's in a different system. He knows it's real. It's not perception. It's very real. And also, I will guarantee you that Alex will not be going back to his old behavioural patterns. Because if he did, or he does, then the system will go, you're not going out. We can't allow you out. You're a threat and a risk to yourself and to other people. And will they let him out on licence? No, don't be silly. He's got to show them that he's not a risk. And he only told everybody about the... Um, the B in L B G T Q C N N B B C. He only told them when he realised he was staring down the barrel of a gun and was going to have to go to prison. He he just produced that card, so nobody would no 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 not going to send you to prison. And to those that think it's big and clever, do not think that or allow that. Alex's fantasy. He. He's a fantasist. So don't... I mean, those people that are relying on him, and, and I'm, I'm talking about... Um, not, not Katie, I'm talking about others. Other people relying him for money. So they're obviously going to just kiss his backside. Well, do not allow Dougie... Dougie his fantasist behaviour. Because it will end up with him going back into jail for another three years. You're not helping his mental health and do not anybody say that it's not affecting his mental health this is prison not a cruise it's not a hotel it is you play by the system's rules otherwise the system will crush you i guarantee you he knows what's going on now my name's adrian allen please make sure you've hit the like Please make sure that you are subscribed for more videos. But most of all, again, thank you for your indulgence. See you for a live Wednesday at 8. And whatever you do, I bet they don't get this in HMP Fosway. Don't forget the Battenberg!